Alrighty, testing audio. Audio test. Sorry for the cruddy audio. I will have this fixed. Um, hopefully this will be the last broadcast I have with the cruddy mic and the basic setup. So, let me just check something real quick and... <coughs> So yeah, this is it. A little bit of notes here. Um, it is not going to be Pulliam. Starting game four, that is not our starter. Waiting for my thing to show up here. We are going to have our ace, our man, Ronaldo Valdez. The guy that is due for a $15 million, or no, excuse me, $13 million pay increase after this season. Uh, we're going to face Rory Redling, righty. know nothing about him. I know nothing of what he pitches. Uh, let's look at Mr. Redling real quick here and see what Boston is attempting to throw out here. There he is, 30 years old, 81 potential. Doesn't look uh, that powerful, really. A whole lot to say about him. Fastball slider change curve. 30 years old. 13 and 6 this year. Had a very solid season. So maybe we don't need to overlook him. 107 strikeouts, 169 innings. Not, not terrible. Well, we're going to see if we can do better here. Could Clint cheer at Fenway? Fenway Park. want this to uh, show up on the MLB feed here. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. There it is. So for those who do not know, we are up 3-0 here in the World Series. Surprisingly, we are up 3-0 in the World Series. Uh, and I say that legitimately because this Red Sox team or a wild card team. They took out the number one seed in the American League, and then they took out Houston, which was a big deal. Both coming in, <coughs> excuse me, with an identical record. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can do it. Let's figure out this lineup here. Not much is really going to change. Still plan on having Crozier at the top of the lineup. Um, our DH, as much as I would love for it to be DeVore, is not. It's going to be Gomes. No, it's not, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Regardless, DeVore is not playing. He should, but he's not going to. I guess I could use him as my DH because Donnie Connors just done really nothing this, this postseason. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put Gomes in at second. Our backup catcher is going to be our DH. If there are to be injuries, we can replace him. We'll see if that works out. Then you have your, uh, let's see here, Valdez. It's going to be in the three hole. Oops, did that completely wrong. Devor will hit before Watkins, throw a lefty in there. Yeah, I like this lineup. We've got our speedsters up top and Crozier Nam, Valdez, Melendez, uh, the muscle along with Barrios, Michael Love, who's struggling a little bit. We're going to give him another shot. Devor, our DH, just to throw in a lefty. Watkins, our catcher. And Burt Combs is going to hit ninth. Technically our second leadoff hitter, if you will. So looks like they are throwing up a lot of lefties in their lineup. Here we go. 
Here we go, game four. Backs are against the wall if you're Boston. Oh. <laughs> fishy. What up, Fishy? We could do it. We could clinch here on their home field. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox. That game three was something else, though. I'll say that. Game three was definitely uh, a thing. I would rather see that than a game Hi two. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome blowout. to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. Well, I can't help but be impressed with the way these guys have come into this series and just flat out Boston handled only scored their three business. Runs. They're hitting on all three cylinders. Runs. And I don't we want to fully 20. count out the other guys, but if the last three, games three are not any looking good, yet our offensive numbers out, are very similar. I think this series could be over. Similar really team batting average, similar uh, just about over. It's time record for with runners in scoring position. World Series Baseball on MLB so. Network, and we'll have it all for you next. Home side about to take the field. This place is jumping. Here's public address announcer Alex Miniak. Oh, Boston. They're going to need that team, now, that, that crowd to show up. Boston Red Sox. Knocking out the 105 win Orioles. The that was the starters, upset so the ball here in this of the playoff so far. Rockies almost pulled an upset on us. We took a seven games to get them. Look at the Cubbies starting lineup. What do you have on this lineup as they go for a championship here on the road, d -Row? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures. Interesting they're going with a rookie. Rory Reedling is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. If you were to describe right field in one word, I think it would be cannon. And that's what this guy brings to the table, an absolute cannon to go along with great range. Don't test the arm. Yeah. Leading off for the Cubs. The anyway, nothing for that one. Peter. What's that? Closer. How's your week, kid? Delivery to him on the way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. First pitch, 7 0 6. And the wind up and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. So I looked at this guy's stats before we walked in. Or before we walked in, before we started the game, 13 and 6, tick over 3 ERA. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. As pitches don't look like when they're anything special, you, but uh, as we still hitter, should not. If you get something that you can handle, you have, have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. And he takes strike mm. three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Well, that See, call like looked I said, like it was a little, little help from the outfield. It wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, stuff. calling balls we'll and strikes is a really tough job, no. and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter Ooh. would want to hear that, though. I'll start the game that way. Standing in now, William Nam. 
He'll swing and oh. the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. That's Nam pitch. stands 6-2 as you see him in the right-handed box. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Matty, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's one a one. testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments. You don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. years yet. I think that's right. And right a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Could have been a borderline call. Set up call behind there. the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest Rusty of the Valentine. umpiring that would crew explain for this that one. Dan Rusty uh, Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, I would have been strike three. Nice strike strike zone. Zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher. On the first, and there were two down. Batting third, the left fielder, Griff Valdez. Digging in now, Chris Valdez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready. Here's the first offering. Liner toward right center. That's going to get down. Valdez, man. The gap and roll toward the He's going to stay high. Around second. He's, He's on not his stopping it, too. He's going to go for three. The relay, but he is three. in there with a triple. Two out this is one park in the league that sees a lot of this guy has done everything the and then some. And he adds another one going. heading to third for Whoa, the three back. There. Gives a hundred and ten percent into the box now. Jose yeah. Melendez, as he'll take a look at ball one. Here's the one oh. Short hit hard. Melendez is going to ground out. Should be out number three. Grand uh, runner third. As the inning is over. No damage done after the two out triple. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Can't be doing that. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Mark DeRosa, how do they go about keeping this series alive? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you. At a lot of lefties. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Ronaldo Valdez gets the ball with a world championship well, on the go. line. What do you have for us, Adam Danny? Been very this good. guy has really good stuff. Cannot He's complain. commanding his off-speed pitches uh, like he was lineup, in his though. last one. He threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back -back powerhouse performances. Okay, here's how the Cubbies are lining up defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Leading off for the Red Sox. The shortstop. Oh. All righty. Let's Allen. see if Boston comes out swinging or not. It's been a very aggressive team. Part of the reason we had the 5-0 shutout in game one. Tanaka went nine innings. Here comes the first pitch. And Outside. a changeup here Boston misses off the corner their to start him out. It's approach at the plate here. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. And he lays off a fastball down down, down, pretty man. good, but it's 2-0. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place.
two and one now. I do not like Rusty Valentine, but he's probably my least favorite umpire in the show. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two. Well, they really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Fouled off. Another try at 2 2. Hit on the ground out to short. And bottom now. Takes it in. Throw on it's the first, down. and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Got it, second. The right fielder, Miguel Pinto. Of course, the one we got to look out for is Joey Gallo. Part of that's making sure nobody ready gets to on deliver. Base. Here's the first pitch, hey. and he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And this will be fouled away. A lot of Ronaldo Valdez. His pitches uh, relies a lot on his splitter and his changeup. Ball out of the bottom of the zone. Got a slightly above average fastball, but definitely not a uh, Strasburg, Scherzer, Chapman type fastball. We'll go up and down the ladder a lot. The next 0 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him up. out. And with two away now, let's take another look here. at our the playoff brackets. Hit. And of course, Joey. the question on everybody's mind, Gallo. will we crown a champion here tonight? Blows my mind, man. Boston upsets Baltimore. Just couldn't get over that. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo. We're do our best not throw the pass pick. ball. Hold high in the air out to right field. Barrios is in pursuit. He's got it. But it's okay. the center fielder who gets there. And the inning Rose is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. Well done. Nice job there. Nice one, two, three for Valdez. Leading off with the bell. The right fielder. Angel Rio. He's been very quiet this postseason. For this series, I should say. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Reedley has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense. And one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind it because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. Three and, three and oh three now. Oh. Michael like Love walk waits possible. on deck. Popped him up. 
That's why he's Allen under 200, play. hitting under 200 in the postseason. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. He is not taking advantage of his hitter count. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Michael Love. Frustrating, really. the first pitch to him high in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball no we'll score see. here as we play inning number two and a pitch one in the ball, third as right. he lays off it's one and one Slider down the way. The Probably. one two. Misses yep. for oh, the second ball. Right. Big strikeout pitch. For uh, Michael Love. Strikes out a lot, a lot of swing misses on that slider. The two two. Yeah, just like that. Missed, he got him on strikes. Didn't think he was going to throw it again. Oh, Another man, strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. The designated ah, no doubt, Matty. No. He's one of my favorites, no mostly more. because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Joe DeVore. We'll one. start him here with a changeup, nope, but it's no. taken for ball one. Here's DeVore. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. He's only played in a couple games uh, in the whole postseason, really. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. High in the air out to taking center a defensive field. Ball. Moving under it via Real. He makes He's going to fly out. Definitely taking a defensive the pick, putting him on Cubs are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Go, Cubs are sit down. Leading off for the Red Sox. The left fielder, Paul Hernandez. delivery to him on the way yeah. and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one Number three, Peyton. behind Owen two now might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front Not a bad Tell pitch there with two strikes, two. but it misses one and two. The one, two. Is down he goes. Strike three. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball Batting was fit. way behind him the when the swing baseman. came through the zone. Yes, I have sir. to think he was looking for something Leaper. off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Dexter Life Leifer? Oh, I can always never get his name right. See 
what they want from here. They gotta stop throwing fastballs as our first pitches. They're gonna first pitch of the at bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, oh, registering at 93 that working, time. Though. Wind up and the 0 1. Nope, Good take there to oh, lay off no the high fastball. He knows, uh, what we're Bottom of the second there. here with no score. The 1 1. Is strike right. two nice. swinging. Now, we're going to throw fastball, change up. The one-two. Misses oh, ball two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Up to the he goes. as he swings and misses for the second out. Oh, Hate to be Captain Obvious here, so but he looks great to begin this start. Batting That's six. already three Ks no for him fielder. in the first five Stay hitters. There. It'd be awesome Fury. to see him keep up this pace. So striding in, David Villarreal. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here comes the first pitch. Owen won the count. It's got him fooled, man. We're going to keep going. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oni pops it up. There's a little and cheap the hit. And the Red Sox have their first hit of the ball game. That's so that hit. the bottom of the second going. Well, this was a good start. But they're not split enough. First five but guys, five hitter. up, five down. But the number six hitter oh, proved to be a little off. bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy. After watching his first five brother take a seat. First offering on its way. Way off balance hack that time. Very for the first strike. Like I said. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you gotta yeah. find a way to lower your sights. It's gonna be a there. tough game. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul for strike two. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here he goes. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Just gotta get him some runs, man. Gotta get him some runs. Now to the plate, Mike off Watkins, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Watkins. Scoring the winning run in game four, or excuse me, game three. First pitch on its way. Scoring all the way to first base on the plate there, and it's ball one. Hit. I think it turned into a triple in the 11th inning of uh, game three. The 1 0 was on Thursday. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Oh. 
ball. Tries to Ooh. change up Good on ball. him there, but it's what a ball give two me and a, one. Give me a call. Take that. Goes the other way and sends it down the right field line. Down the right field line. There's that cheap home run. Right Cubs up one nothing. Hmm. Any other ballpark, that probably would have been a double. Right. His first homer so far in the series, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. That is not the chief home run. The second base. Bird into the box. Whoa. Bert Gomes. And he's first pitch. Now Gomes is going to shoot it on left this field. This one into left field for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little it. bit more because they the are on his stuff. Peter. Those are not Rose being her. fooled right now. Can we go back to the top of the lineup here and see if Crozier. In now, Peter Crozier. But there's yeah, something about a breaking ball three, that misses for ball now. one. He went down looking thing. to open up the ball game. The 1 0. Now a ball grounded to short. That this can be, be two. Double play One ball here. Frozer. The first, and they turn the double play. Now batting. That's not the guy you're going to yeah. see doubled off very often. No. So that was a quick turn at second base. Good transfer and a strong throw. Standing in now, William Nam. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Will I am Nam. 30 years old. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, now we got one run. I don't uh, think one run is going to hold. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit out to a second. Long of them shooting that is through the into center field. The base hit. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0. No steals. It's a great bat to ball oh, skills. Yeah. Yeah. Some guys have just had a knack to be real, being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Stepping in now, Chris Valdez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. He was stranded at third when Melinda has grounded out. Before the 0-1, he'll check no, he on first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Quick pitch. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. That's two and one. Well, I kind of wonder if he's a long way be as aggressive pitcher. as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. The 2-1 home. Rounded. Oh, it's off the third base That could be ripped down the third base line. The off the bag. Nom. And they going to make it to third. This is he's able to reach on a play that you that just away. don't see very often. The first base knocked right off the bag. Big series for the oh, season. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. No, see, he's got to be the world right, right here. Having a huge sure. series. Any big Blazer leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. 
Into the box now, Jose Melendez. And he can oh, that ball hit hard. Hit that ball hit real deep. They're looking up. Oh, see gone. you later. Santa that ball Maria. is see ya. Ooh, Melendez taunting. So a three run Just blast like that, to comes up four nothing. His first homer here in the series, and with it, the I don't know Cubs why that's his home run stance. Front, I did not set that as something. Trot. Whatever. Man, that was an opposite field muscle right there. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this Get that one. Over the second the one he's allowed in just two and two thirds innings. Might want to warm up those Not showers. Like from Boston. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball. I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> shocked. <laughs> they have not put up one of Angel Barrios. As he'll take a look oh, at a slider that down. can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And the Rockies have. Rocky provided a bigger challenge, and they came in at 81 and 81. Lifted down the line and left. Fernandez oh, the oh no! Nope. He back makes in. a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One more look. And more damage has been done. Heath Rattler, if ever there Jose was Melendez. one. More baseball Over on MLB Jack. Network right after this. Over the monster and left. Now Boston's got some work. For the Red Sox, the catcher, Jason Madsen. And now Valdez has his lead. Let's see if he can work First with it. First pitch of the at bat. Aye. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Does like Behind to work quick. Yeah. And Watkins usually click. It's in the fastball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Is put in play to the right side Got of the infield. Got first him reaching. Going to get him out. First down. Batting nut. The second baseman. Louis. Louis. Riding in, Luis, Luis, and the switch Luis. hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Here's the first pitch to him. A shot down the first baseline. And stopped by Melendez. He's stuck on the bag. Now, we can afford to be a little out. aggressive now. The batter, number three. Valdez does not mind. Todd Allen. Now at the plate, Todd Allen. He Our got top on top order, of one. It was a ground out victim last time. Yep, yeah, it's top of the lineup again. So let's see how they fare second time through Ready the Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This oh, one's outside. Quite All a left bit off the plate that him. time. Ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. The one one home line drive the left. There's a hit, and that yeah. is in there. Louis for a two Louis. out base knock. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Execute your pitch down the way now below the knee, and a left no hander's able it. to shoot it through the 5.5 hole. That Pinto. fires me up.
go. Standing in now, Miguel Pinto. Will they be aggressive on the base pass? The left That's out of play. Play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Down 4, do you take a risk? Two outs, do you really take a risk from the still bag? I would say no. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nice. That's a nice back door there, and it's over two now. Allen is off at first with two away. Down he goes. And missed as they set him down for the second time here that tonight. His fifth One left for the Red night, Sox. I believe. They're down four nothing. Valdez is got on cruise control right now. Don't pull play, that fastball. Let's say expect a lot more change. Sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind the button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking Very a bit, interesting. or if he's able to put oh, this behind him. Decided to leave. Starter First in. pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Hey, it's been Boy, a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky: less than 60 percent well. of his first pitches have been for strikes. One and one the count. Checks his swing oh, here, but he does so in time. I'm actually surprised that did not go with it. That uh, did not count as a strike. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, oh, Matt, you want to try to initiate patience, contact. Good patience, one thing you on deck, don't want to do, to center his you don't want to run up. the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh boy, heads up. And this is going to get on through and shoot the that center right back up. Where it came from. Hey, sometimes you get lucky right there. It looked like a 3 2 pitch out of the zone could have got on base via the wall. That make contact with the pitcher. Almost blocked the pitcher. Got the bullpen running now. Here's the ball. Stepping in now, Joe DeVore, high in the air out to center field. He's going to fly out to center just like he did the first time. Via Real, the controlling deeper. center makes the play one out. Now batting, catcher, Mike Watkins. Riding in once again, Mike Watkins. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got Watkins? in store for us here. He in the last solo at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, right. didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Right down the right in field a line. Play situation, Anywhere that's else the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. And a changeup here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. The 1-1. One, one. Mm. one ball and two strikes to count. Chuck that one down there. We missed it. Runner at first here, one man out. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough like sweeping slider. Not Some many reason. guys lay off that pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Oh boy. But it won't skip away oh far boy. enough for the runner to good advance. Good job reading that one. Pitch home, but he oh, won't throw. Ball throw. Oh, that's taken run. for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. When a guy yeah, homers off the take him out. the game, the Ooh. last thing you want to do is challenge man. him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. 
I'll leave him in. Stepping up now, Burt Gomes. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Fernandez comes on now and puts Why it away left. for the second out of the like inning. The first time. No the success, the though. The center fielder. Peter Crozier. Digging in, Peter Crozier. Here's Crozier, 0 for 2. Strikeout and double play. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fouled away. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Popped him up. Oh, you're going to pop Matza up. Moving to his left, and the inning He's is over. 0 for 3. That's all right. So a good job for him now. there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Cubbies are in front, four to nothing. Standing in, Joey Gallo. So far, Red 0 for 1 with a fly out. The third almost, baseman. Matty, almost Joey. went deep his last AB. Certainly Yellow. just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Here's Gallo. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out oh, there to oh, left center field. The wind will knock out and down. Ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. He just missed. This guy's not, not wasting any time, no right? Fielder. Gets a first pitch fastball, oh. and he flies Hurt. out deep on the first, first pitch fastball of the inning. Gallo. Sliding into the box. Paul Fernandez, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And hey. we'll see if he tries oh, to cheat to something this A.B. Strike one to start the at-bat. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Ball and a strike. If you're going to have success one. against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Mm -hmm. The 1 1 home. This is line to left. Knock. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And keep him to a single, though. Nice job. Dan, you nice have to job. love it when your defense picks you up right there, keeping now him at first it. base. Well, the first that looked like base. it had extra bases yes, written all over. Great job Reaper. by the left fielder to get to that ball and get the ball back in, keeping that to a single. In now, Dexter Leifer. He'll swing and lift the ball foul He's, off to uh, the left and out of play. Back to the Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Mm. Breaking yep. ball drops okay. right in the shoot for a strike. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Hernandez stands at first with one out. Now a ball lined oh, on the left bad. side, but foul.
Here comes another 0-2. Oh, not a bad pitch on. there with two strikes, but it misses one man. and two. Love the execution of that changeup, but hats Oops. off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. Yeah. That one was strike called. Three called. Oh, caught a break there. Like the exact Two same away. strike three call that Crozier got in his first out. Out this offense. The it's been a fielder. pretty dominant performance David. on the mound, and these hitters Fury. have had oh. no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. Not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive him in now and chip away at that deficit. Get hard to short. And a close oh, play. Oh, he's out of his side is retired. Throwing base goes to nine. That's a four. That's a four. four to nothing. What the media lineup be? Stepping in and ready for another Maybe shot. William Nam. He's shot. one for two in the ball game. No. First delivery to him on the way. He just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Strike Ooh. two. That is not where I thought that ball was going to go. Nice pitch. And he got him. Yeah. Didn't mess around much in that at bat. Dan. No, I know that was pretty good. impressive, Matt. I really Rick. like a pitcher that, that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. That was good on that one. Standing in now, Chris Valdez. And he fouls this one off. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Wind up and the 0 1. This is line to left. Shot down the left field line. Not quite out of here. Right it's off the wall. The it's keep him to a single, though. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Now batting. Uh, it's one of the, the beauties baseman. of playing in Fenway okay. right there. Most places Whoa, that's a dead. double or a home run, but at Fenway, you're coming out of the box thinking, can I make it to second? Because if it caroms, and that left fielder fields it cleanly, you're dead to rights at second that's base. Gonna be it. And that's a heck of a job to hold him in a single. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout Your after working please. just four and a third, and now he just didn't have Sox. his best stuff in this one. Number Henry 19. Roberts enters Henry. to make an appearance on the mound Robert. as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Here's Henry Roberts. Stepping in now, Jose oh, Melendez. That's the first pitch to him. Change up and can't shot. find the zone. It's ball one. Big difference, home run. The 1 0 home is offered out and missed for the first strike. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's chins. Bounce to first. And he'll take this over to the back for the out. That worked out, I guess. Could have been double play. Position at second. The white fielder, number 30. That's all right. Angel. Rodrigo. Stepping in, Angel Barrios, runner in scoring position with Sajan. Valdez hanging around at second. 
good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And he takes ball one. And some action now in the Boston oh God, the bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. Rob Burris up in the bullpen. Not fun when he's on the mound. Now the 1 0. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Long throw to the plate. Ah, would have made it, and too. And the runner at third will put the would've brakes on it. here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Should have just now, kept guys, going. Sometimes you third need a little bit of luck, too, as a My pitcher. Goal. This ball absolutely Whoa. scorched. Actually hit so hard that it wasn't able to drive a run in. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I know that ball was hit on the line. Surprised the third base coach held him with two outs. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. Ball one as he lays one off ball, below the zone. Mm. Swing at ball two there. The one and two pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy patient. to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Every run matters, even if it is a four nothing lead. You never know. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. I'm a favorable call. I'm not gonna lie. That was uh, pretty favorable. Right? Now the three and two pitch. Lost it in the air out toward right center. Low is going to fly out. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple. But they're in front four to nothing. Back now at Fenway Park. And here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, honey. Leading off for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, Henry. Oh, First delivery to him on the way. First ball pitch one, fastball no off the plate there, and it's ball one. the windup the 1-1 one, one pitch ah, and he Ooh. took something off of it there it's one and two great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds gave him a hard there. fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup pulled toward right center field Crozier on the move First round's way there. She he it. gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The catcher, number 17, Jason Madsen. Striding in for Boston, Jason Madsen. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Yeah, this is why Valdez wants no runs, the money. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Oh, and one Throws count, the and the series. pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Madsen hits right-handed pitching very well, makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. We'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. 
Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand-eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's Ooh, not right getting now. any major damage. He can live with it. Drive it up the middle the other way. Mm -hmm. He's not, but that's what he's been able to do. Next for the Red Sox, the second baseman, Louis. Louis. Coming to the plate now, Luis. Luis will swing it from the left side right here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. <laughs> I can dream. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 1. Hit hard to the right. What up, man? Foul. Count. Now the pitch. Good job no, to spoil that lot. one away, and he stays alive. Two out, nobody on. He's in your day off the clean house. Huh? Yeah, man. That's this what we try to do in the air with my mom left and my mother. But, uh, it doesn't it. work out that way. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're on the short oh, end of a 4-0 score. Just really need to clean. Desperately. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Joe DeVore. He flew out in his last at bat. Joe DeVore. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Yeah, I know. We're watching my uh, sister's cat while they're on vacation. Our bathroom is nothing but uh, cat litter. <laughs> Pretty sure a Roomba couldn't keep up. Swing and a miss for strike one. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Ball and what? wide. Two balls and a strike. Line drive to center field. Villarreal is what? right there, yeah. one down. Good contact to start Not out. The inning. Thought he yes. might be on base. Oh, we just have one. Of a hit, just one. It hung up there That's too all we got. Long. One. But she's a messy cat. That time. I can't imagine I'm uh, was he said four. Mike Watkins will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Yeah, I <laughs> know. I did not know they offered uh, buys this late in the playoffs. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Cold strike at the letter. Cardinals, man. You get for being cocky. You got to shut the fuck out. <laughs> this one oh, is baby. Back, 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 and gone. Mm. Could have been the dagger. That honestly could have been the dagger. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game. <laughs> right the bat. Yeah, I don't and know the where Cubs these uh, this up to a home run animations lead. came from because I did not set them for that. <laughs> As we take another look here, you can see that the curb just didn't have that great bite to it, and he sends it deep into the night sky. Did that if really go that far early, over the monster? That did not look like a... That did not look like a majestic shot. Yeah, like, at least the Braves only blew one game. The Cardinals didn't show up for all... all of them. <laughs> oh, wow, that did uh, carry on out of here. Jesus. That did not look like a... Uh, a majestic home run. Sure golfed it, though. 
Yeah. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm surprised, really. And now, Bert Gomes. Hit in the air out I still think field. it's when they took Tomlin out. And, uh, what was it? Game is there now, and he three has or it four? I can't remember which game it was. Now about it. The but there was an inning that they used Tomlin Peter. just for one Peter. inning, and he was cruising. They should have kept him in there for another inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Peter Crozier. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. First pitch is yep, a curveball. The Madden it's inside. Effect. Yep, over managing. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball just Madden's missed hitting with that the inside angels, corner. That That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away, and unfortunately that one stayed inside. That's a three-year deal one with the Angels for manager. The Cubs leadoff batter. He gets the manage Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. That would be with fun. Two men out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. That's not going to down. Over to his right. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. On Washington, they go to the Cubs Padres. Tack oh, on boy. Another courtesy of the <laughs> oh, boy. Home run. Bottom of the what sixth odd coming combination, up. The Cubs five. And the Red Sox nothing. I hear that Dusty Baker is in... He's having talks with the Mets or something. Now it's Blake Todd. <laughs> I'm Allen, like, does he Baker? Are you serious? Oh, are you serious? Oh, are you serious? No, you're one of three guys Baker. are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. They oh, the Phillies. Phillies. Okay, yeah. So far in this one. <laughs> Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll no, see if it happens. That's, you know what? First pitch coming. Here it is. That's a step down. And oh, a ball. That is a step down. <laughs> The 1 0. Now a I'm, re I'm rooting for an Astros Nationals World Series. I think that'd be a very good World Series to watch. High fly ball after straight away center. Moving under it. Crozier. He's got it one away. Here's my team. Yeah! Yeah, he's earned it. 19 and 31, a 0.01 percent chance of making the playoffs, and here they are. Come in and they sweep the Cardinals. They came in as a. Uh, they came in as a wild card team, didn't they? Yeah, they come in as a wild card team, beat the Brewers in the wild card game, and they upset the Dodgers. And here comes the first pitch. Made very easy and work for the Cardinals. One of the fastball, <laughs> registering at 93 that yeah, time. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you, you were right. I even apologized in the last Bases podcast for how long I, was. I I honestly thought that bullpen was going to implode. But now it seems like it's becoming their strength. Who knew? Baseball. This is funny. one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Baseball is a Able funny to pound game. his own with all different options. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Valdez giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Up the the win. Number yeah. 13. Joey. I just wonder what happened Gallo. to that team, really. Here's Joey Gallo now. Two away in the end. Yeah, the wheels just fell off. Like this doesn't help that Segura got hurt. Hutchin got hurt. Yeah, and really Robinson got the hurt. The and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And I think it's a play on that swing. It's one of one. Those big injuries, though. Two out, nobody on. That's nope. inside. inside Two and oh. Not the ideal spot to be right here. Two and zero count on point. a real good hit. Well, you're going to have to make uh, some really good pitches your, your now. Or whatever, whatever it's called. You know, they weren't really Hitters challenged. Here's they the were lackadaisical. Lower part of the zone, but it's taken for a strike. 
Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Hit hard to the right. Ooh, <laughs> Lifted the other way. Yeah, Volti, man, he just Valdez he relapsed. After it, he makes the catch. What a play on Volti the run to relapsed, the man. inning. I was Red Sox go down one, beyond, two, three. They can't chip in. I'd be unsurprised how horrible deficit. he did in that last game. It's like ten to nothing. Imagine if you bought tickets to that game and before you could even Welcome get in your seat, to it was ten to nothing. Here in the great city of Boston. <laughs> Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Ladies Rob and gentlemen, Burris your is attention on to pitch please. from the bullpen now to now start inning number seven. Yeah, no doubt. Number 32. His defensive uh, oh. lapses didn't help Burris. either. Stepping in, William Nam. He'll match up with the new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. He had surgery on his elbow. First pitch on its way. The other day, fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That straight smoke at 99, guys. I cannot pick up the ball out of this guy's hand. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Looked like the changeup slipped out that time, and it misses just well above the zone. Up I hope I don't swing it. Fling it. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this will wind up being a foul ball. I can't either. I have such a hard time. I just can't see the darn ball. That's the only way that I have to, uh, that I have a chance of hitting it, is when that little icon pops up. <laughs> and even then, it's questionable. Standing in, Chris Valdez. He's looking to go four for four with this guy. right here. This guy is my World Series MVP, postseason MVP, MVP, MVP. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls and a strike to count. Yeah, I thought I'd finish One this out, season. Nobody on. You know. They said they fixed the hitting a little bit, so that's what kind of got me back on it. Now it checks. Hitting does feel a little better. Time. Ball one. <laughs> Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but, but it sure looked tempting. It at least he held up. He must have been guessing. The one-one home fouled off. You quit your season. <laughs> I'm very upset that we we will not see Count's Braves baseball. The one-two, and that one got a All right. You know what? Yeah, I can hear yeah, that was intentional. Right now, I'm wondering if he hit him on purpose. But okay. hey, us pitchers need to be able to down three in the World Series, down five zero in Game Four. As dangerous the guy as he got three Pretty hits. sure this one just got away from him, and so hey, that's purpose. part of the game. Oh, you're bad at him. <laughs> Pull a Harper and throw your helmet at him. Into the box now, Jose Melendez, oh, Jesus. and it's fouled away. He's I don't even remember where you at three when you were far. at in your season. I think you were hovering around 500 when you uh, went MIA there. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count know, goes right? to one and one. I, I wish that at some point in the future, like, player tendencies come in. He's set. Here comes the one one. Ball and two strikes. Like, yeah, this player has a tendency to get very upset, can get ejected. Fouled away. That'd be a thing, man. Valdez, base runner at first with one out. 
can be quite a thing. Two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an Crappy. absolute you, grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Yeah. Yeah. And a fastball. No point of that. I cannot, I cannot pitch him all the fuck this guy off. Got him with a good high fastball. Kind of hope he messes up. see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it Angel. so effective? I think Rigo. that what makes it such Shoots a tough pitch. Straight up. Changing the high level. Fastball <laughs> up. Looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard Rigo. to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Angel Barrios is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Throw 98. That's a fireballer, too, just to make it even more difficult. Throw over to first, hey, and good. he'll be back in standing up. The 0 1 pitch. Oh my god. With the there. <laughs> oh my god, that was my pitch. I know we got a swinging oh, miss right there. So convinced he was going to throw fast. To a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss so in those spots. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Oh, that's right. at the Braves are looking at Jackie Bradley Jr. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but oh, maybe. what he's trying uh, to do with what, that pitch is could to be a free agent the now and Indian CRK could be a trade it, but chip. At the very least, it helps set up your off-speed stuff. Think they'll do that? One, two is an off-speed off. pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Now the Red Sox have been talking trade pieces. I think Marquez is a free agent. Here now the two-two is a no, one check the swing. I should know better. I should know better. Nothing leaves. Leading off the inning. J.D. J. in the ATL. They'll need him to get something going here. No less starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. Oh boy, thank goodness he's going long because uh, bullpen is taxed a little bit. Bullpen is taxed a little bit. I think this offseason will be better than last year, man. Starting to go around Where will Garrett Cole go? Where will Anthony Rendon go? Where will uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. go? Will Steven Strasburg opt out of his contract? One ball, one strike. But some people are speculating that he will. Will Hayward opt out of his contract? I mean, there's so much talent everywhere. This is on the ground over to first. Played on the backhand. And there's one away. The first base number 25. Crazy little dude. I know, right? Like, surely they're going to offer him something. Or like, so he, Steven Strasburg off side of his contract, they'll be like, wait, 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 what about this one? Strikes his last time what, what about this one? Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you What's get up, completely Angel? fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early oh, in the set back. And that misses for ball one. Home and great extension oh as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Valdez is back near the monster oh, as he caught. makes the wow. catch for route number two. Right. Thought he uh, bounced that off the wall. The center there. fielder, number 10, David Villarreal. Now with the play, David yeah, man, Villarreal. good stuff. You know, it's like Still nine teams that don't have a manager yet. And... Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, I don't know everybody no that's a free strike. agent, but Anthony Rendon, hey, of course, the Dodgers are already talking about right getting here. him. And this guy's they're willing to, to move well, Justin Turner to second base, and he said that he's more than happy to do that. That's about league average so far, so he's right yep, on point. Freaking Dodgers, now of course, sucking everybody up. <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, you heard it. Count said no. Can't do it. <laughs> I'll get him out of the east there. Yeah, but then you have to go against an even more stacked Dodgers team. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Line towards Good old Clayton Choke. Choke and he will get there to make the running Choke play, slaw. and that will it. end <laughs> the <laughs> inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. Need to get it going Choke soon. Slaw. It's five it. nothing. Choke slaw. Jonathan Holder has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll Sox. do so to start the eighth. Number sixty-five, Jonathan Holder. All right, Jonathan Holder comes so in. Now for Rather did not go with Hobbit. That's going to be it for Valdez, though. We're going to bring in Delgado. Whoa. Eight. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. That's going to get down. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. Red Sox bullpen is just like Some the real bullpen. Yeah, man, this, I cannot wait for free agency this offseason. I just hope it doesn't turn into a stalemate like before. You think your Braves will re sign uh, Donaldson? You think we'll give him an extension? Into the box, Joe DeVore. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. I think so. Well, well, you've been right so far. Second with nobody out. <laughs> you've been right so far. Now this pitch is lined. That's gonna get into the gap. That's a base hit. Trot on home. And add one more. If this is now boy, a oh six-nothing ball game. You're starting braving that title now. now. The catcher, Mike. Watkins. Mike Watkins will stride in again. That's who I picked. We take it back to inning number Dodgers six. And Astros as well. This was his second home run of the ball game. As he'll stand in here looking for number three. I didn't think that he would use Clayton Kershaw after his history of blowing leads. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Pinto ranging forward. He oh, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Really wants to see the game lose. The second baseman. Burt. Go. So we'll see. Now batting, right. Burt Gomes. They're in the eighth. You getting sleepy? Already? First pitch of the at bat. And one he lays off there, 1 0. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers yep. need to start no, no. making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really mm -hmm. stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Ah. See you, Count. Thanks, man. <laughs> Have a good uh, day off, buddy. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Hernandez will get there with ease mm -hmm. as he puts it away for route number two. Mm -hmm. Now about it. The center fielder, Peter Closer. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Peter Crozier. He's 
ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. I'll be able to If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. We had schedule. We are ahead of schedule. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. No ball, Looks strikes. like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. I mean, that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger, add in the velocity in the high 80s, you ain't doing much. Ah. Got him. Sorry. Right. Lively fastball that time. Just and it had a bad game. The it's a run on two hits, one Western left. team has it. Not too many more shots we'll turn left. Over the Home bullpen. half Valdez, of the eighth coming up. Fantastic it's innings. the Cubs six. Going to bring in Delgado for the eighth and probably Easel for the ninth. Your Ryan Delgado is on to pitch out of the bullpen Chicago, in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 16, Ryan Delgado. Send that through there. Leading off the inning, Henry Ogawa. And Leading they'll need him to get something going Sox. here. It doesn't look the very promising. See if Red Sox so have anything this one week. Seems into like the later getting uh, down by a bungle. It's time to get some base runners. Relatively and quiet. Let's see even left. World Series. Paid thousands of dollars for these seats. Gonna leave? Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hey. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Hit hard to third. Oh, he can't come up with it. We got it. We got it. I'm down to four outs to go. Here's the line for Mr. Valdez. Seven innings, three hits, no runs, no walks, six strikeout. Uh, he threw. I don't remember how many pitches he threw. Yeah, he, he threw looked some. really he dialed in none. from start to finish. He this is glitch. the kind of out of your hole for every time you go out there. <laughs> so I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. From the stretch. That was our ace at work. Slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Hit on the ground after short. Now right to now, so you get him out. Throw in down the first for route number two. Now battle. The second baseman. Louis. Louis. Digging in, Luis Ruiz. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. One second here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well, Delgado's been uh, pretty him solid. Here, There's some things I'm hoping he improves on in the offseason. He could use some more control. High chopper over to first. Melendez, and you got it. There we go. Eight in innings down. Over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Red Sox they won't not make showing up. Three six hits. You got to be kidding deficit. me. You advance all the way to the World Series and you're going to score two runs? Three runs, excuse me? Come on now. Ladies Jarvis Fernandez enters now in a mop-up role as she'll try to the keep Red the Sox. deficit right where it is. Number zero, Jarvis Fernandez. The next tub up, William Nas. He's one for four for the game. William. No. He'll be getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. 
it. Mr. Easel warming up here. Coming in and face Alan Pinto and Gallo. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth we'll inning. We be getting to have Alvin Easel close out the World Series. Be his potentially his last game of his career. Not sure if he's going to retire or not. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and oh. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. Drilled on the ground is short. Allen right there. Throw on the first to the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Number one, five. The left field, number 32. Griff. Valdez. At the plate, Chris Valdez. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. A swing and a drive. He's going to get another third. knock. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. He's going to keep it to a single there. And they're able Chris to get Valdez, the ball in man. quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one MVP. away. World Series the, uh, MVP, postseason MVP. Jose. Digging in. Oh, Jose. They may Melendez. consider Melendez the MVP of this game. But uh, Chris Valdez, no matter what the game says, I got the statistics to back it up. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, that hit him. Let's he hope he's okay. Sparked this offense. No chance to recover, and let's hope it's okay nasty out there. By the Red and Sox. time now to see quite where that the got him. And it appeared from off. up here at Angel. least, and his actions Bo on the Rio. field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Digging in to try it again. Angel Barrios. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Fernandez. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter, the third baseman. Michael Love. Digging in and looking for more. Michael Love will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A.B., maybe once a game, maybe Be once right. a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Owen won the count. Owen won. Here it comes. Awfully Whoa, close yeah. with the slider there, but it's one and one. One second here. Gotta put something up. The one one pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. The one-two. And he fouls this one off. Foul ball. Valdez on second. Melendez at first, two out in the inning. We'll look at something real quick here. Fox score, Crozier 0 for 5, Nam 1 for 5. So we got 1 for 10 in the top two. And then uh, the next two alone, uh, you've got uh, 6 for 9. So. That is something to behold, if you think about it. Uh. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find something real quick here. 
Where is it? Where is it? Trying to find uh Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, well, I'll have to look for it later then. Another one two delivery. Ball. Curve ball, or maybe and even the circle two change two. there. Two and two, regardless. The two two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Knocked it off, man. Two two one more time. Fouled off. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Now another two two. Hit hard on the ground is short. That's Scoops up stop. on the backhand. Nice out play. Two out threat will not come to pass. There we go, the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. To the bottom of the ninth we go. We go Top Boston. of the order due up. It's the Cubs six and the Red Sox nothing. We're not shown up at all. We're going to have Alvin Easel come Alvin in. Alvin Easel will take the ball now as the new the pitcher. Cubs. Number four. Turns over now and set to go. Leading Todd off. Allen will well, be the off. first to bat here in the inning That's with his guys stop. in need of some God. ninth inning magic if they're going to force a game five. Here we go, 29 World Series. Here's the first pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Yeah, off to a good start. And now he's down with him. Now they're right out there for a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than he can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. Ready now, Miguel Pinto. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard. Do have Mitchell three in the wing, just in case. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. The 1-0. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, one and one. The one and one pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. A runner at second, nobody out. Called strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Oof. Just got a little tip on that one. Ready with another two strike offering. And it's fouled away. Just in case. Man, I'm not making contact with that.
And he fouls this one off. Come on, Eden. Swinging a soft liner, and this will be right. put away easily. That was most awful the play. There's one. The third baseman, number 13. Red Sox. Joey. So Gallo. digging in now, Joey Gallo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Time is ticking. Here's the first pitch. And a curveball in for a yeah, strike. Couldn't get you, two you know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. The 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. He was able to foul that one off, but you Very could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Swing and a miss. Down goes Gallo. A major bullet that time. Two oh, my for overhyped, two, overpaid, two, underperforming, two. Two, two, two. Digging in the switch hitter. Don't care if far for head gets that game. He doesn't get paid that much money to have a good second half. Here we go, last out. Will this be the last out? Here's the first pitch. Nope. There's a fastball okay. well off the plate for a ball. And a breaking ball in the dirt no that break. time for a ball. I'm going to quickly do something well, here because I'm thinning off my right PlayStation. Here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now the 2-0. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Two and one. Now the 2-1. And this will be a call Ooh, strike curve. two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike of the season. The World Series. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Swing and a ground out to Nam. This could do it. Picks it up. Throws. Yeah. Gets him. We do it. Series. Cubs win. We are back to back to back world champs. Clinch it on Boston soil. Mm, mm, mm. Boston just didn't show wow. up. Wow. World Series champions. Oh, wrong button. Hey, they're not complaining. Believe Moment for this team. Yeah. Back now on the show. There you go, More guys. reactions now to this series clinching victory. Aldina gets his sixth World Series title. And as down manager. on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commission. Of course, I'm going trophy. to screenshot that real quick. So that's what the. Uh, that's what you see there. That's why you see the screen's going away. Because my OBS is not working, so I have to do it the old fashioned way. 2029 World Champs. Cubbies. What a game. Now is the final line score Valdez. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs.
six runs on 14 hits, no errors. But you know what? Nine runners on base. My postseason MVP has got to be Chris Thomas Valdez. Game, two hours and 53 minutes. Almost hit 400 this postseason. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 37,755. Final score, six to nothing. We have done it. And like I said, I'm 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 happy we won, but I'm disappointed that Boston only showed up in one game. One game, he only showed up. One game. So we have absolutely done it. Let's see if I can look at these real quick. Playoff MVP MVP, excuse me, Chris Valdez as he should. World Series MVP Chris Valdez as he should. Uh, let's go to that real quick. So yeah, your World Series MVP, like I said, Chris Valdez hit 533. Look at that postseason stats. Mm. Let's save that screenshot real quick. But yeah, 352, 9 home runs, and 18 RBIs. This guy carried this team. There's no doubt in my mind that he carried this team. Pretty much it, though. That's all we care about. Chris Valdez killed it. Absolutely killed it. Oops. One second here. out that box score real quicky real quick like yeah man I don't know what to say back to back three consecutive times the dynasty continues when do the off season some other time we get done it that's all I got man I know that's as anticlimactic as it gets, but World Series done, 2029 done, 2030 starting relatively soon. Relatively. I may stream the off season, not sure, but we got some big things happening. We got some players that we don't know if they're going to retire or not. So, will Alvin Easel retire? Maybe not. I think he's still got another. I think he's still got another uh, year in him, but we'll see. We'll see. He may retire. If he does, he's definitely going to go in our Hall of Fame, Fantasy Fantasy Cubs Hall of Fame for sure. He's been with this team for 12 years, so we will see if he retires. But for now, I'm going to call it. I am out. I got some stuff I got to do. Thanks for checking out history I'm going to say it's history back to back to back World Series titles I'd say that's history anyway guys I'm out thank you so much have a good one